Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed, but the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the Abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Well, not like his own son, of course. allowed to take that. It belongs to Conroy. I abolish it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the basilian oh, turn uh, to stone, uh, it's your uh, own fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh, Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Hmm? <laughs> No! <laughs> no! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. Oh. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog. I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That thieving pigeon. crutch is this? Well, uh, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyways. Oh, I would recognize that smile anywhere. Conroy! 
Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. There's a fish on the windowsill. I wonder how it got up there. That thieving pigeon. Come here. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Put, put. What am I supposed to do with it? That could be fun. Won't help, though. A wind sock blowing in the wind. Oh, great! My own wind sock. Wind socks are awesome. That won't work. I wonder why they search the girl. She looks rather nice. Don't take down the posters. The wind turbines in this town have become useless ever since the wind left. No, it has to turn by itself. That guy looks like he'd rob me without hesitation. I should ask him if he'd help me. Hello, can you help me? That depends on what you need. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not me. Well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need... Garbage. Can you help me? I have to catch that pigeon. Sorry, kid. If I leave my spot, everyone will steal my garbage. But who would... I only see one potential suspect. What do you sell here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Esposha. You sell stinking garbage? Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great! That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few Aspororo, it's yours. aspo ra ro -ri? Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but <laughs> I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's help is good and fine, so be nice and wait in line. You get all that for us, Porora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. 
Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for Esps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted as potion I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, I I'm very sorry for that. Well, thank you for the feed. There's an old bottle in the garbage. It's filled with fermented nocturine juice. How long has that been lying here for? <laughs> Smells like Tuesday. A year ago. A phosphos. Conroy hates phosphoses. I like them. They glow. I like light. I can't reach it. Well, I could, but I won't. No, now is no time to fool around. Conroy's garbage chute. Why does it lead to a residential area? Damn, it's not movable. One can make good use of such shoots. Dump. What do we have here? An old vase, a spindle, the right hand of a guy from the city, a scarf that I got him for his birthday. Hmm, that must have ended up here by accident. I don't want any of those things. is empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Uh, I can keep the thread. I have to catch that pigeon. I won't leave without it. just come undone. If I tie the end of the windsock with thread... I 
I'll have a great net. I don't think that will work. It's too high. I won't get the pigeon down there like that. That won't work. That could be fun. Won't help, though. I don't think that will work. Well, I could, but I won't. Hi, Worm. You look thirsty. The party's over. <laughs> Stretchy little guy. He's sleeping it off. Rather difficult. I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. So, what should I shoot at first? Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Well, Worm, now you're free again. But I'll keep this cork. You can't escape. Hey! <coughs> what do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint? You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? Whatever. Peck, come here. <gasps> Tell Conroy that from now on, the winds are about to change. Ha! It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me. I have to find that pigeon. And the girl too. Especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Laura. Wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of exposure, assault, chewing gum in public, enraging the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. If it's just lying here. It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. That could be fun. Won't help, though. Hmm, a hole in the ground. Who dug that hole? And why? Where does it lead to? The world out there is full of secrets. Kid, that's a simple wormhole. Oh, okay. You don't do that to wormholes.
I better keep that. Well, I could, but I won't. never seen you here before. I'm new in town. Please. Who comes here voluntarily? Actually, I'm just looking for someone. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the bazillions. This song, it reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Well then, goodbye. Okay, if you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's see what's in there. A pillow, half a glass of pickles, and a few nails. I wish I had such a nice room in the palace, but Conroy says wealth spoils character. What am I supposed to do with it? In order to break it, there'd have to be a pane of glass there. They seem to be posted everywhere here. Maybe I should write Pigeon Thief on it. stick. It's made of stone. Hmm. No wonder the old Asposian couldn't escape. I'd better take it before someone steals it. I wonder what he's done to incur the Bazillion's wrath. Better not. I might knock him over. Just remember the incident ten years ago. The scholars still call it Domino Day. This was either caused by a bazillion attack, or someone built a house without a roof. What's the use of a house without a roof? Oh, the little boy's playing. I used to play... Escape from the palace. Conroy even played with me. I never won. Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh, friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Detza. Gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. 
Is that your Foss Foss? Yes, its name is Foss. I saved it. You did? How so? It was captured on Asposia's highest tower. Isn't Asposia's highest tower the lighthouse that doesn't shine anymore? Hmm. Yes, I remember Conroy telling me that the Foss Foss there had been stolen from the tower. Not stolen. Freed. Oh. Oh, what a nice pot. Did you just call it a pot? This helmet saved my life a million times. Like, like when I had to fight the root trolls. Uh-huh. How did you do that? Fire. Are you talking about that big fire two years ago? Otherwise, the root trolls would have destroyed all of Asposia. And the big flood extinguished the fire. You did that as well? If the question implies that I saved everybody's lives, the answer would be... Yes! What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes! Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. A phosphos. They give off light and warmth. They don't eat, produce noise, or exhaust fumes. Practical. But they need wind in order to glow. No, the cage is securely locked. Someone seems to think that the phosphos could get stolen. I would just borrow it for a minute. The staggering phosphos. Why is it staggering? It's too high. Besides, I don't need a huge sign right now. Today, jaw shatterer for Aspiri. This must be a dentist's office. Doesn't come off. Hmm, someone must have nailed it down. It doesn't look very stable. Whoever lives here doesn't own anything worth locking away. This door belongs to someone. I think it'd be rude to take it with me. Actually, he never leaves. Hello? He's smiling in his sleep. Hmm. He seems to be happy. Sweetheart, he's wasted. Oh. That must be the barmaid. I've never seen such a female asposion before. Actually, I've never seen any female esposion in the monastery. Hello. Are you the head of this 
establishment. I have no idea, sweetie. But I'm the owner of this bar. How about a jaw shatterer? A what? It's a liqueur. The specialty of the house. Thanks, but I'd rather not. Maybe a headcracker then? Or a lava streamer? All of that sounds rather... violent. Violent? You probably mean easily flammable, sweetie. You look like you could use some more hair on your chest. Thank you so much. I will drink it later if I intend to uh, kill myself. Have you seen a girl with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. Oh, sweetie, I meet a ton of people here. Why are you looking for her? She has something that belongs to me. I can imagine that. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I can't help you with that. Oh, a small wooloo. Yes, isn't he cute? I got him after my last husband left. He eats and sleeps the whole day, just like my husband used to. You can barely tell the difference between them. Your husband? Where did he go? He wanted to run away, but he didn't get far. What do you mean? He's right there. You can recognize him by his long nose and the coat hanger. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. He hasn't been the same since he got turned to stone. The man at the slot machine is a wind monk. Can you believe that? He's one of the great three. Him? That old pincer is a regular here. If you ask me, he's more of a great loser. But don't you feel honored that a real wind monk comes to your bar? As if I would need that. A monk in my bar. I was wondering why the Basilians haven't been in here yet. Should they? Are you a sinner? You know, sweetie, back in the day, men worshipped me. Believe it or not. Okay, then I don't believe it. Is he really in here gambling every day? Oh, when that old moron lost his wind fountain, he became a gambler. You could never get him straightened out again. I'd bet my garter on that. What's a garter? Believe me, sweetie. If you get to see one, you're not going to be interested in what it's called. Why not? Oh, forget it. You'll figure it out. Figure what out? Maybe you won't. Is he really in here gambling? Oh, when that old... You... Bye. Take care, sweetie. That is by far the ugliest canary I've ever seen. Dog. What game is this? Oh, honey. Hey there, little guy. Can I pet you? He seems to be busy. What does it say? Content absolutely lethal. Serve with a slice of lemon and a cocktail umbrella. No, I won't drink anything with a skull on the label. I've made that mistake before. What's in there? Strange juice. Oh no. It smells like it could burst into flames at any moment. Wow, that's the barmaid. She's really pretty. It's fascinating what time can do to a woman. Now is not the right time for that.
There are a lot of colored balls in there. I get the feeling that they're looking at me. I need to insert a coin. Wow, a real wind monk. What an honor. What is he doing? If I didn't know better, I'd say he's gambling and drinking alcohol. Come on, come on. Oh, damn. Hello. Wow, you're Malleus, the wind monk of the valleys. Ow! What the... Brazilians, are you there? No, I'm afraid not. It's only me, Robert. I'm so glad to meet you personally. Okay. Is there a reason why you're disturbing me? Have you seen a girl with a pigeon? No. Are you talking about Laura? Yes, she visits me in the bar from time to time and brings me some root tea. Nice girl. Always realizes when she's disturbing. She stole from Conroy. That's an outrageous accusation. The poor thing has strayed from the right path. If she left the path, where can I find her? Rarely have I met such a non-spiritual root head like you. non spiri What? Ah, forget it. What are you doing? I'm, uh, meditating. Looks like a lot of fun. Fun? If this was fun, it wouldn't have anything to do with religion. But what? I'm, uh, looking for inspiration. From a slot machine? Well, yes. Yes, well, until the inspiration finds me, it can't hurt to use the time practically. Right. That makes sense. Somehow. Good. I I'll go now. One moment, one moment, only one more game. Oh, that monk has really let himself go. There's a thread hanging from his robe. That would never happen to Conroy. Hmm, the chair seems to be rusted. How long has the monk been sitting here? What's going on? Nothing. That swivel chair has seen better days. It's completely rusted up. No, now is no time to fool around. No, it's being used. And besides, I can't waste my time with gambling. I have to find the girl with the pigeon. Seems like he's here often. No, I'll leave him alone to... whatever he's doing. Why has your husband been turned into stone? Because the Basilians were faster than me. That spell saved the disloyal dog. What do you mean? I mean, you can't castrate a statue. No matter how hard you try. No, I think the poor guy has suffered enough.
that's just a random guess, isn't it? That's just a random guess, isn't it? That won't work. That won't work. Oh my gosh, are those arms hanging out of the window? I hope the person belonging to those arms is still attached to them. Hello up there. Can you hear me? Who's there? Friend? Enemy? Fan? I believe... friend? Oh, how nice to welcome a visitor. Why are you in prison? Oh, that's a long story. I used to be one of Asposia's tailors, but the wind gods found my robes to be too... provocative. They attacked the city and Conroy captured me for my own safety. Against my will. Hmm. Actually, the story's not that long. You have to be Asposia's best tailor. Oh, I'm only a small stitch in the unending scarf of history. So, you're a tailor? Oh, young friend, it's a lot more than a job. It's a calling. The needles are mental extensions of my arms. You have to become one with the fabric. The material has to flow through you. So, you're a tailor? Yes. You can't imagine how much I miss knitting. Okay, I'm, I'm going now. Oh. Okay, I'll stay here, yes. I can't do that. No, now is no time to fool around. Asposia's elite is having a coffee break. Hello? Guard number 822 reporting for duty. Oh, it's just me, Robert. I wanted to ask you something. I hope it's important because I'm about to have breakfast. What are you doing here? I'm on guard. I see. What are you guarding? What am I guarding? What a question. Of course I'm guarding uh, this small house here. And uh, uh, the prisoners down there. And uh, the fountain, of course. I'm a fountain guard as well. What are you protecting the fountain from? It's a personal order from Conroy. I have to guard the fountain. Yes, you just said that. Um, protect it from what? <laughs> I guard the fountain. By the way, falling into the fountain is prohibited. Uh, has anyone fallen into it before? I can't imagine that. Does Conroy know... Conroy? Where? Is he here? He's not here, is he? Uh, no. No, he's not here. But I have a question. I'm not officially authorized to receive questions. Does that mean I'm not even allowed to ask you any questions? But if I just ask you something and you react to it, like a few moments ago, then I've asked you something, although I'm not allowed to. And that's another question again. Hmm. Uh, that's... 
Maybe your opinion. Aren't you afraid that the Bazillions will turn you into stone? Why would they turn me into stone? Well, you're standing directly next to the fountain. You're probably going to be their first victim. Hmm. Actually, I've only been here since yesterday. Thanks for the advice. You have a great view here. Yes, thank you. If the weather is nice, I could even see Upper Esposia. Sometimes I think to myself, what if there is a guard standing there as well, thinking that his side is up and my side is down, even though it's actually the other way around? You've probably thought about this for a long time. No, it just now crossed my mind. What kind of machine is that over there? Don't you know? That's the Cinomat. You don't seem to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. What does a Cinomat do? Nothing. You have to confess all your sins to it. What did I do? Probably something. Nobody can walk around without making the Bazillions furious. Have a good day. I will. May the Bazillions be with you. Thank you. And with you as well. That's just a random guess, isn't it? He who works without a moan... <laughs> Always at your service, Abbot Conroy. The original Conroy puppet for all it talks when pressed. He who works without a moan. <laughs> Always at your service, Abbot Conroy. It could always come in handy. One of Conroy's instructional leaflets turned into stone. What now? Conroy suggests, stay calm and wait for help. Makes sense. Conroy is such a smart ruler. Nice lunchbox. It would fit into my collection of things that I might need at some point. Tell me your sin. Hmm. Let me think. I think I got on people's nerves with all kinds of questions. Realize the weight of your guilt. The Bazillion's judgment. Slap yourself and suffer. What? I took things even though they weren't mine. Realize the weight of your guilt. The Bazillion's judgment says, Call yourself an unworthy worm and suffer. Oh, that's also what Conroy used to call me. What should I confess? Confess your sins. But I didn't do anything wrong. Tell me your sin. 
You're not listening to me. Sacrifice a man to the Basilians. I guess I'll be go. Tell me your sin. No, I really wanted to. Tell me your sin. I'll just go now. Tell me your sin. I wonder how mints will redeem us from our sins. I can't reach it. Besides, people would probably notice if I took it. This mint has the shape of a coin. Hey, there's no bubble gum in here. These are marbles. Too bad. Marbles don't taste half as good as bubble gum. And they give you toothache. 